Hello. In this video, we're going to show how to calculate the stagnation pressure using our Bernoulli's equation, which we <coughs> calculated, or we derived this equation, the Bernoulli's equation, in last video. So the stagnation pressure is a very important thing we can get from using Bernoulli's equation. So if we have an incompressible flow, and we're dealing with a gas, such as air, <coughs> when we're dealing with a gas, and finding stagnation pressure, the difference in elevation can be approximated as zero, so that can go away. So a stagnation point is a point on the body at which that flow comes to rest. So that is kind of like the maximum pressure that that body is going to experience. And usually it's for a moving object through air. So this is our equation for stagnation pressure. So P naught equals P infinity plus one half rho density, which is density, times velocity subscript infinity squared. So our P infinity, that's our ambient air pressure, and our V infinity is the velocity of the object, and our rho is the density. So, let's, so for example, here's a some sort of object moving through the air at 10 meters per second. So to calculate the stagnation pressure, we can look back up at our equation here and see how this equation reduces to this. So we have our elevations, those can cancel out, okay? And our P1, let's just consider that our stagnation pressure. And the velocity of the air just kind of out out here, let's say, is is zero, right? So that air is not moving anywhere right here. It's not until the V2 hits that air that it's you can consider it as moving. So this can cancel out. So now we're just left with our P1 equals P2 plus one half rho V2 squared, which can also be written as this. So back to our example problem here. Our PO equals you know, 101,325, that's our ambient air pressure, plus one half rho, so our density of air is 1.225 kilograms per meter cubed, times our velocity, which is 10 meters per second squared, and we get our stagnation pressure to be this. So for this car, the maximum pressure that this car is going to experience going 10 meters per second through air with no velocity, just still air, is this 101,386 pascals. So we can calculate, also use this to calculate the force on this car. So let's say the area of the front of this car is, you know, let's say three meters cubed. You can calculate the force, pressure times area, so that equals 101,386.25 times 3. 101,386.25 times 3. That would be 304,158.75 pascals meter cubed. And Pascal times meter squared. So you need some Pascal's a newton per meter squared. Meter squared, meter squared cancel out and just left with newtons.